We are not wasting any time today. We are just going to dive right into it. It has been a hot minute since I have reviewed any ColourPop eyeshadows on this channel, so we are so long overdue. I have in front of me the beautiful, brand spanking new Getting Fresh eyeshadow palette. I have become such a huge fan of these large format palettes from ColourPop because they perform beautifully. I am just obsessed with the formula. This color story in particular though grabbed my attention in such a huge way. Look at these shades. Oh my goodness. Talk about the most perfect color story ever. If you love greens and neutrals and pinky tones and bronzy shades, girl, this is for you. And all of those shades are right up my alley. Green is one of my all-time favorite colors along with yellow. I do love my beachy pink shades and my neutral tones, but this is just perfect. If you are someone who wants color in their shadow collection, but you don't want to step too far outside of the box, I feel like this is really going to speak to you. I am living for so many of the shades in this palette that I don't even know what I want to dive into. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at these shades because they are stunning. In the sunlight, they shine. The dimension of the metallics in here, there are even some duochrome shades. These swatched beautifully as well. When I got this in the mail, I just like ripped it open and went to Swatch Town. I was just in love with the shades in this palette. It's just absolutely breathtaking. So you guys know the drill. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in up close and personal to this mug right here. And we're going to go ahead and dip into the Getting Fresh palette together. We'll create a look and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Let's do it. I have no idea what type of look I want to create because I am living for so many of the different shades in this palette. I love this like duochrome green right here. It almost reminds me of Garden Party, which was a shadow single. I don't know if they still have that, but it does give me those vibes. This duochrome right down here is beautiful. These foiled shades. I'm a kid in the candy store. There's too many beautiful shades. Let's start out simple with a transition. I think I'm going to start off with this shade right, which one is it? This one right here. Oh, it's literally called O. I'm going to go in with my BK Beauty 201 brush. BK Beauty brushes are everything. You need them in your life. They're kind of high end, but they will make doing your makeup so much easier. Oh, they're so good. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of haphazardly lay this down all in the crease and just kind of sweep that all over my lid. Do you have some dry patches on my eyes right now? I don't know what's going on, especially right here on this lid. I get random contact dermatitis on my eyes and there's never a rhyme or reason except for hormones. I won't judge too harshly on that as far as the shadows blending because it's not the shadows fault. So this is just a really nice, my brows are pissing me off today. They keep wanting to fall. This is just a really nice all over transition shade. We don't have to be too exact with it. Boom. Good. Let's move on. I am really drawn to this kind of bright kind of, is it peachy pink? I don't know. Almost like a watermelon pink. It is the shade Gone Bad and I think I'm just going to dive right into it. I'm really drawn to that shade. So that's what I want to use. We've got quite a bit of pigment going on there. I'm going to hold my hand way down towards the end of my brush because Yep, I can tell this is gonna be super pigmented and I don't want any harsh lines. It literally makes all the difference when you're doing your shadow where you hold your brush because you're gonna get such a softer, more even blend. Look at that. By holding your brush more towards the end of it, especially when you're working with some more pigmented or heavily pigmented shades, some it's a little bit brighter. You don't wanna to have to spend a lot of extra time blending. But as you can see in real time, look how easy this is blending out on the eyes. Oh my goodness, it's incredible. And it's super true to the shade that's in the pan. I love that. That's something I actually pay attention to. I hate when I get an eyeshadow palette and I love the way it looks in the pan. And then I go to put it on my eyes and it looks like trash. This is blending effortlessly. Like, that's all it takes. Look how pretty that shade is. It just screams summer. Oh my goodness. I get way too excited about makeup. Way too excited. But I hope that gets you excited about makeup too because makeup is friggin' awesome. What do I want to do next? Obviously I want to deepen up these outer corners. I think I'm actually just going to build up this shade. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to dip into that same shade. I'm going to pat that on the outer corner and just kind of build that up and keep it a little bit tighter to my crease. 
just to add a little bit of shadow and dimension and some contrast. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Now, this shadow has an asterisk next to it, and I'm assuming, yeah, it says not intended for use in the immediate eye area. What that means, this is probably more of a pressed pigment, and they don't want you jabbing this directly into your eye. It also means that you could get some eyelid staining from this. So just to give you a heads up, me personally, I don't get too freaked out by that warning. That's just me, but I do want to give someone who cares a heads up but that's one of those shades i don't see any other shades in here with that warning attached to it so it's just this shade that i'm using right here i will be your guinea pig but if you are sensitive to certain dyes and stuff like that you might want to check the ingredients and see if there's something in here that you should avoid i'm almost debating if i want to make it a little bit deeper but i don't want to mix in any other colors to compromise the brightness that I have going on here. So I think I'm gonna leave it. In the center of the lid, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, Do Your Thing, which is another beautiful duochrome. I'm just gonna take my finger, look at that. <gasps> Gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and take that, and I'm gonna keep that right in the center of my lid. Girl, yes, that is stunning. Paired with this pinky shade, it fits right in, and it's so, richly pigmented. I love the metallic. It's giving dimension. I love the duochrome-esque-ness to it. So pretty. I think right here in the inner corners, now I could go pretty neutral, but this one right here is also a duochrome. It looks like this begging you shade, begging you. But do I also want to go a little bit more green? I can't decide. I think so. I think I'm going to go in with this one right here, this green shade. This is on the outs, which also looks kind of duochrome. A lot of these look duochrome. I love that. I love that ColourPop finally put together a palette that has so much different dimension, like a palette that includes duochromes. Oh yeah, that looks so cool together. There's no rules to makeup, you guys. Do not feel nervous messing with color, trying different color combinations. You can pretty much almost make anything work, I promise you. I had no clue what I was about to get myself into with this palette. I just knew that I loved the color story and I just looked at it and I was like, I'm just gonna let the wind take me where it wants to take me and Look, uh, how gorgeous is this color combination? So fun. So there's ways of playing with color without being too outrageous and making it very wearable. I mean, this is a pretty bright look. It's so fun. All right, let's work on this lower lash line here for a moment. I think I wanna do a green. I'm actually gonna go ahead and dip into this shade right here, The Point. It does have some uh, micro reflex of glitter in it, but as soon as I tap off my brush, that glitter is going to fall off and it'll basically just be like a matte shadow. So I'm taking the BK206 and I'm just going to run that all along the lower lash line, poking myself in the eye multiple times because that's what I do. There we go. Very subtle pop of green on the lower lash line, but it's definitely doing what I want it to do. You could take a more densely packed like pencil brush and really drag that out on the lower lash line, but I'm okay with where it's at. What do I wanna put on the inner corner here? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the shade right here, Striking, and put that in the inner corner because it does also have like a little bit of like a green reflect to it. I don't know what this is. It's just a medium angled brush from Sigma, the E70. Not even something that you would typically use for an inner corner highlight, but whatever, we're gonna make it work. I'm just gonna pop that right in the center and I'm kind of gonna drag that also right along the tear as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop on some liner, some lashes, and then I will be back with the final so look. Here's the completed look using the Getting Fresh eyeshadow palette. It goes without saying, I'm a huge fan. I am so impressed with the way that these shadows blended. The dimension from the duochromes and the metallics, the shade options in here. This color story really is perfection and it is genius because the pops of color in here are very wearable and usable. Everything goes together. If you are new to color or you want a neutral palette that gives you the option to play with some greens, some duochromes, and to come up with maybe some more non-traditional, maybe more fun looks, this is the palette for you. The layout of this just makes it very easy and everything goes together. You're not going to have a hard time figuring out what shadows go with what because color theory 
all of these shadows work beautifully together. I can't stop looking in the viewfinder and in my mirror because this shade right here, Gone Bad, for a pressed pigment, that blended beautifully, like without any effort at all. It was just like whoosh, blended out just gorgeously. I am in love. So if you have debated picking up this palette, I would say go for it if it's in your budget, if you want something new. This palette is 110% worth every penny. I paid for it myself. I don't regret it. And it's definitely something I'm going to be reaching for a lot. I do find that a lot of ColourPop's large format palettes are just killer. They are spot on. The color stories, again, are just perfect. They're just such good, solid palettes for a larger format. I'm kind of over this with most brands, but for ColourPop, they get it right. Every shade is wearable in here. I could see myself dipping into every shade, so I feel like it's not really going to waste. I really truly enjoy all the shades. I could see myself using every single one in this palette. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the look that I created? Do you want to recreate it? If you guys have Instagram, TikTok, a YouTube channel of your own, comment down below. Let me know if this look inspired you. Let me know if you recreate it. Tag me. I would love to see your looks and to share them. So fun. I love that. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you love beauty reviews, product reviews that are unfiltered, honest, not sponsored, hit the subscribe button because that's what you're going to find on this channel. That's mostly what I do. I want to thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.